Come along with us as we give the kitchen in our lake house an extreme renovation. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and this is my husband, Sean. Hello. As you might know, we bought a rundown little lake house last fall and we've been renovating it room by room. Today is what I think the most exciting before and after of this whole renovation and that is the... Kitchen. Correct. <laughs> is that? Yeah. Was I supposed to say that? Yeah, that was no. correct. Okay. <laughs> Just like every other room in this home, we completely gutted the kitchen right down to the studs, found some interesting stuff, <laughs> and then built it back up again. I did a whole new layout, and I think it has some really unique features, and I can't wait to share with you the whole process and how it looks now. Let's get started. Last fall, we purchased this 1,000 square foot lakefront cabin with the hope of turning it into a full-time or a part-time rental. We faced so many challenges while renovating this home, but so far we've managed to completely make over the two bedrooms and the bathroom. Today we're tackling the kitchen, which I think is the absolute heart of the home and the room that I'm most excited to complete. Here's how the kitchen looked when we bought the little lake house. It had a U-shaped layout with a peninsula and dated honey oak cabinetry. Even though the cabinetry was in semi-decent condition, I wanted to change the layout of the kitchen to make it feel more modern and open, so we removed all of the cabinets and donated them. We also removed the hardwood flooring which was water damaged and even moldy in some spots. I wanted to use a more suitable water resistant flooring for this space. Just like every room in this cabin, we had to rip the walls and the ceiling right down to those studs because of the improper insulation and the disgusting rodent issues. This added several weeks to our renovation timeline, but in retrospect, honestly, I am so happy that we were able to build this house back up properly so that it's safe and cozy for our tenants and we know exactly what is behind these walls. As far as the design goes, I played around a lot with the layout and I mean hours and hours and hours into this design. I'm using SketchUp for my designs, which is an online design software that I really love to use. Initially, I thought we could create a smaller kitchen with an island overlooking the lake and a breakfast nook. However, after a lot of thought and playing around a lot with this layout, it just seemed too cramped. What I landed on is somewhat unique. It's an Eden kitchen with a large farmhouse table at its center. With this layout, I have a nice working triangle between the fridge, the stove, and the sink. The kitchen itself is so much larger, and this table offers a family-friendly dining solution. I feel like this is going to make the whole front room feel so much more open and so warm and inviting. I want to swap the fridge with the stove in this new layout so that we can have symmetrical windows on either side of the stove that look out to the greenery outside. Sean is reframing these, the large windows that look out to the lake, and he's adding a garden door here for even more lake view. After framing, we had a professional spray foam company insulate our entire home and then we ordered all new windows and a garden door and we're installing those to make the kitchen energy efficient and look more symmetrical.
Sean then drywalled and mudded the whole kitchen and now we're installing a shiplap ceiling to give the kitchen a modern coastal look. Mitri gifted us this shiplap and we have been loving it so far. We put it in our whole house, it's easy to install and it's exactly the look that we're going for. Beautiful crown molding and window casing from Matri as well frames out this ceiling, windows and the doors beautifully and I think the little details like this are what can make a room look and feel so much more high end. I want a simple custom range hood between the windows so Sean is framing it out with studs and cladding it with MDF. We trimmed it with crown molding and corner trim and caulking and painting it to match the ceiling. Shiplap is going up for the backsplash, but we're going to do a special backsplash treatment for behind the stove. This is so pretty. The wall color I'm using here is called Silky White by Bear and it contrasts ever so slightly with Ultra Pure White by Bear, which is what we used on all the trim and that ceiling. The whole home is relatively small, so this white on white look really helps reflect all the sunshine, all the light all around, and it keeps the home feeling open and airy. Now it is time for flooring. We're using this gorgeous natural colored luxury plank gifted to us from Divine Flooring right here in Alberta. This is the same vinyl plank I installed in both the bedrooms, but this time is such a treat. I have my brother, my dad, and Sean installing the entire main room while I was home with our daughters. This stuff is so easy to install and it will give us the water resistance we want with a beautiful coastal farmhouse look with these wider planks and this gorgeous white oak color. For the cabinetry, I'm going with a classic white shaker style. Honestly, I had thought long and hard about adding a colorful cabinet, but after playing with the design, just this fresh, clean look of the white cabinets made sense for this coastal lake house style. With the wooden table in the middle, I thought this would contrast nicely with all of this white cabinetry. These are pre-assembled cabinets. They were gifted to us from Home Depot Canada. Thank you so much, Home Depot. And you might recognize them from a previous video I did when we renovated my brother's kitchen earlier this year. I don't think you can go wrong with this style, this price point, or how quickly these can be installed. The farmhouse table we're using for this space is from Ikea and I love that it's rustic but it's very clean lined. And this thing is so heavy that you definitely need two people to flip it over and move it into position. Whoa. I know. It's a little bit solid. Wow. <laughs> Sit. Solid in the farmhouse table. Okay, so maybe okay, I should. So, um, should we lift it and I'll quickly move? Uh, I think that will be too painful. I think okay. you should just probably pick it up and move it over. Maybe. Okay. For countertops, I'm using the Eckbracken laminate marble look counters from IKEA as well. They're extremely budget friendly, but I think they look great. The sink is a beautiful cast iron white sink by Kohler and I love 
how it just blends into these countertops. A gold colored faucet adds an elegant look to this kitchen. I'll make sure to leave links to everything I'm using in this kitchen makeover down in that description box below. Oh my gosh, it seems like it's gonna be too big for a second. Okay. <laughs> what? I was like, that's not supposed to be like that. Oh, <laughs> no. Spins yeah, yeah, that's all we need. We don't need to spin backwards. Yeah, okay, not for sure <laughs> All right, I am mixing metals yet again in this space because I don't want to overuse these gold tones. So while the wall sconces are gold and they're going above those windows, I'm installing some nice thin black handles on all of the cupboard doors. The pendant light cords above the table are also black to tie in with these handles, but we're using these gorgeous textured seagrass shades from Ikea to bring in that coastal feeling, and these are extremely budget friendly too. To add a little privacy to the windows, I found these magnetic Roman shades on Amazon and I'm installing them with some brackets inside the windows. I still haven't decided on window treatments for the large lake facing windows, so if you have any ideas for those, I would love to hear them down in the comments below. A piece of oak trim finishes off the range hood and I'm sanding it to make the edges nice and smooth, caulking all of the counter seams and around the sink will keep all the workspace sealed. For behind the stove, Sean is installing a marble panel. He used to install these a lot and he happened to have this scrap piece in his shop. So this adds a little bit of interest behind the stove and it's also really easy to clean. For the appliances, we're just using an older stainless steel fridge, dishwasher, and a stove, and I've cleaned them and they still look and they function really well. I could seriously sit down and cry from utter exhaustion at this point, but we're so close. We just have to push through. We're so close. Huh. As a final touch, I'm creating some custom seat pads in a blue and white striped fabric for the chairs I'll have here. I'm reusing chairs I already have on hand, but these DIY sewn seat pads will help them tie into this kitchen. Now after some styling, we are finally done. As a reminder, here's how this little kitchen looked before. And here it is now. I can't believe what a difference this new layout has made. It makes this entire house feel more open, larger, and a lot more suitable for families and gatherings. I am completely in love with the symmetrical windows and our simple custom range hood right in the middle. The white shaker cabinets are a classic, but we've added some modern touches with the mixed metal hardware and all of the accessories. The flooring and the large oak table add some warmth to the space and I've styled it with touches of blue and brass to give it that modern coastal feel that I'm loving for this lakeside home. Even though we don't have a lot of upper cabinetry in this space, all of the drawers and the pantry flanking the fridge offer a ton of storage. I love this little coffee area that overlooks the side yard and the lake. 
Overall, I am so pleased with how this renovation turned out and I simply cannot wait for our tenants or our guests to enjoy this space. for watching this makeover. I hope you enjoyed this extreme kitchen renovation. Let me know down in those comments below what your favorite part was. I think my favorite part is probably just completely changing this layout to make it so much more open. What's yours? My favorite part is being finished. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to sleep for 50 days. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm going to leave some more videos that I hope you will love watching next right up here. <laughs> Bye. See you. We are doing an extreme renovation in the kitchen of our little lake house and we're going to take you along for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's done. You're coming for the ride. <laughs> Hold on.